Okay, let's turn our Science Fusions book to page 101, lesson two. Our essential question for this one is what are some animal life cycles? Engage your brain. Find the answer to the following question in this lesson and record it here. So we're looking over at this picture over here for this question. Why does this young koala look similar to its mother? Go ahead and pause the video and write down why you think that is down below. The answer for that one is the mother passes along genes or features to her offspring when she reproduces. So this koala here, if it has certain facial features about it, uh, most likely the kid as well will have the same facial features as the parents. Active reading, lesson vocabulary, list the terms as you read about each one, make notes in the interactive glossary. So when we come back, we're going to write our four glossary terms here. They're going to be our yellow highlighted words in the text. Sequence, many ideas in this lesson are connected by a sequence or order that describes the steps and a process. Active readers stay focused on sequence when they mark the transition from one step in a process to another. Go ahead and turn the page to page 102 and 103. Life cycles. Robins hatch from eggs. Dogs give birth to live puppies. What do dogs and robins have in common? Active reading. As you read these two pages, circle words that show differences between animal life cycles. Most animals have male and female parents, but not all animals reproduce or have young in the same way. Birds and some fish, reptiles, and amphibians lay eggs. Other animals, such as mammals, give birth to live to live young. These early stages are part of each animal's life cycle. So you should have circled two words in there for a difference between the life cycles. What was the difference between the birds, the fish, the reptiles, amphibians, and the mammals. Birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians lay eggs, so you should circle lay eggs. And then for the mammals, they give birth to live young, so we should have circled give birth to live young. Let's go ahead and look at the caption down below for the horses. Horses are mammals and give birth to live young. Mar mothers stay with their fowls and feed them milk for four to six months. This fowl looks like its mother, only smaller. Here's a newborn lynx up here. A mother lynx gives birth to live cubs. There can be one to four cubs in a litter. Lynx cub. A young lynx grows up in the protection of its young mother of its mother. A young link looks much like its parent, only smaller, adult links. A young lynx grows into an adult and finds a mate. The two adult links reproduce, and then newborn links come about. The cycle begins again with a new litter of lynx cubs. Our life cycle for the ostrich, an ostrich egg. The ostrich is the largest bird. It's not surprising that ostriches lay very large eggs. Ostrich egg. Ostrich. Oh man, am I struggling on that one. Ostrich chick. An ostrich chick depends on its mother to bring it food. Adult ostrich. All grown up and adult female can find a mate and reproduce. What do you think's next in the life cycle? Draw the next stage in the ostrich life cycle. Okay, after you would see an adult, you would probably see this adult ostrich maybe sitting on a, a nest of eggs. Notice there were no vocabulary words on this page. Frog life cycle. Go ahead and turn to page 104 and 105. A frog is sitting beside a pond, croaking loudly. How did it get there? How has it changed? 
active reading. As you read these two pages, circle words that name stages in the frog's life cycle. So we're going to look for the stages throughout the frog's life cycle for this one. Early in the spring, many frogs wake from hibernation and begin to croak. They are looking for mates. Before long, the pond's water is filled with eggs. Look closely at the photo of a clump of frog eggs. You will see tiny black specks. One day, each speck will grow into a frog as big and green as the one on this page. As a frog develops, its entire appearance changes. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a major change in the body form of an animal during its life cycle. You can go ahead and pause the video now and you can go write metamorphosis in your vocabulary definitions. That would be back on page 101. Leopard frog. The leopard frog goes through a series of changes after it hatches as a tadpole. So here we go. We have egg mass. This would be something you'd probably see in a pond in the early spring. Frog eggs are found all stuck together. They look like a cloud of eggs. They are usually in the water of a pond or marsh. Then the next phase in the life cycle is a tadpole. A tadpole is an immature frog that must live in the water. It hatches from an egg. It has gills and a long tail. It breathes and swims like a fish. It looks very different from its parents. Next part. After about five weeks, the tadpole starts to change. Tiny buds beside the tadpole's tall tail grow into little hind legs. Next part in the life cycle. Boy, it's starting to look a little bit more like a frog now. Still a tadpole, this young frog has four legs. Its tail will soon disappear. Its lungs are almost completely developed. Adult frog. This frog has fully developed legs and lungs. There are no gills and no tail. It's an adult. So for this active reading part, you are supposed to circle words that mean the stages of the frog's life cycle. So you should uh, have circled egg mass, tadpole, and adult frog. Remember, these two stages right here are also just the tadpole phase. Life cycles. How is the life cycle of frog different from the life cycle of an ostrich? Go ahead and write it there. The big difference is um, they both lay eggs, so th there's a way that they're the same, but the big difference is the young ostrich chick looks a lot like the adult ostrich. And the tadpole doesn't look hardly anything like a frog. Page 106 and 107, insect life cycles. Ladybugs crawl up a brick wall. Grasshoppers hop along the ground. What changes did these insects go through after they hatched from eggs? So if we look over here, we can see the life cycle of both the ladybug and the grasshopper. So we have the metamorphosis of both of them. And it looks like starting out as ladybug eggs, then to ladybug larva, ladybug pupa, and then adult ladybug. And then for the grasshopper, ladybug eggs, grasshopper nymph, grasshopper nymph still, and then adult grasshopper. Let's go ahead and look at ladybug eggs. An adult ladybug lays her eggs on a leaf. The egg is the first stage in complete metamorphosis, ladybug larva. In the second stage, a ladybug larva hatches from each egg. The larva looks different from an adult. Ladybug pupa, pupa. The larva becomes a pupa. During this third stage, the insect does not move as it slowly changes into an adult. Adult ladybug. An adult ladybug emerges. The adult stage is the last of the four stages of the complete metamorphosis. Now you can see the line right here, and the ladybug would be laying the ladybug eggs. Incomplete metamorphosis. So this was a complete metamorphosis. This is an incomplete metamorphosis. Grasshopper eggs. A grasshopper lays her eggs in the soil. The egg is the first stage of incomplete metamorphosis. Grasshopper nymph. Young grasshopper called nymphs hatch from the eggs. A nymph looks like an adult grasshopper, but it doesn't have wings. 
grasshopper nymph. As a nymph grows, it sheds its outer body covering several times. Each time, its wings become larger and more fully formed. Adult grasshopper. The last shedding produces an adult grasshopper. This is the third and last stage of incomplete metamorphosis. And then back to the egg. So there's your life cycle for your grasshopper. Active reading. As you read this page, circle a signal word that tells when something happens. So we're going to look for like a word like before, after, next, then while we're reading. When you see it, circle it, please. Most insects undergo metamorphosis as they develop into adults. Ladybugs, like butterflies, go through complete metamorphosis. This means that they go through two stages of development between the egg and the adult. In both of these stages, the insect looks very different from the adult. Some insects, such as grasshoppers and dragonflies, go through incomplete metamorphosis. After hatching, these insects look very much like adult insects. They also go through changes as they grow, but the way they look does not change. Now, you should have found a signal word in here, and the signal word for a sequence would have been the word after. You should have circled the word after. Okay, let's look at the caption down below. As part of its life cycle, the adult grasshopper grows bigger and gains wings. Okay, let's do the do the math down at the bottom. Measure in millimeters. A young grasshopper nymph can be 20 millimeters long. Draw a nymph that is 20 millimeters long. Do so you want to draw a nymph just like up here, 20 millimeters long? Now, an adult grasshopper can be 45 millimeters long. Draw a grasshopper that is 45 millimeters. So draw a grasshopper. Now that would be almost twice the size as your nymph. The vocabulary words for these ones should have been larva and pupa. You should have wrote back in the vocabulary terms. Page 108 and 109, why it matters. Diversity. Every little living thing is different. Even young who have the same parents are not the same. Imagine a family of dogs. The mother has brown fur. The father has black fur. What color fur will the puppies have? The answer may be different for every single puppy. Even though they have the same parents, they will get different features from each parent. All living things share traits or similar characteristics with their parents. Hair and eye color are passed on from parents. Even talents and abilities may be passed on from parents to their children. Look at the family in the photo on these pages. Do the family members of the family look alike? People with the same parents often look alike, but they don't look exactly alike. Diversity, different characteristics, is what makes everyone different from one another. So yeah, they kind of look the same, but they also have different features. Like I can see this boy right here looks quite a bit like dad. And then these two down here, this this boy looks like he has kind of a mix between mom and dad. And this boy right here kind of looks more like mom than he does dad. I wonder who the grandparent is related to, whether he's related to her or that would be maybe his son. A family of dogs. These puppies have the same parents, but they don't all look, but they all look different. That's because they have received different features from their parents. Compare puppies. Circle two puppies. So circle two puppies down here. Compare their similarities and their differences. Go ahead and pause the video and do that. Circle two puppies. Compare how they're similar and different. Okay, I'm going to look at these two puppies kind of towards the back with the light brownish fur. Now, the first puppy has brown ears and a pink nose. The second puppy also has brown ears, but if you notice, he's got a black nose. When you finish with these pages, you can do the sum it up, brain check, and apply concepts.